you do not want to use these for EV training. So even though this game does have a lot of options for setting up your Pokemon pretty easily, post game you have access to mints, bottle caps, ability capsules, and these nutrition drinks. The problem is to actually set up a Pokemon for competitive is very expensive. And most of that cost actually goes in EVs because to max out a stat, you're gonna need 26 of these which to fully set up a Pokemon, you're going to need about 53 in total if you want to do it entirely on these nutrition drinks, or I guess they're also called vitamins. Whereas Bottle Caps, Ability Capsule, plus Nature Mints may take up one third of the cost. Two thirds is going into this stuff right here, which is a lot of money. Now, I'm not going to talk about fast ways to make money. There are plenty of videos out there about that, but it's still not efficient to use these for EV training there's actually a much better way that I'm gonna show you in this video. So for this example, I'm gonna be setting up my Magikarp 252 attack because I wanna set up a Gyarados for competitive. And the best way to do it is using these power items right here. You can see I have Power Bracer already on my Magikarp. What these do is give you plus eight EVs for every Pokemon encounter in the wild. And depending on which one you use, they give you a different bonus but it is a straight eight EVs for each one. So combined with the Pokemon that gives the EVs for that particular stat, you can be getting nine to 11 EVs per fight, meaning you only have to encounter 27 to 28 Pokemon to fully EV a stat. And the best part is you don't even have to have it as your lead because your entire team will get the EVs from a battle. So if I want to get attack EVs, there's a great place right over here in the South Province Area 3 where a lot of Shinx tend to spawn and you can usually find groups of five just around. As you can see right here, there's a group of them that all you have to do is just get into a battle, knock it out with something that is powerful enough to one hit it and also has a lot of moves. I'm pretty sure this Powder Snow is adequate. And in like less than 20 seconds, I got nine EVs. And you just do this 28 times, which if you're lucky, it will take you less than 10 minutes to actually get 252 on one stat, which considering how long it takes to make money in this game, that is actually vastly more efficient. And this allows you to save your money for the other parts that you're gonna need, like your mints and bottle caps and such. So in roughly 20 minutes, you can set up a Pokemon for a competitive, a single Pokemon. But if you have overlapping EVs that you need to set up for, say, a competitive team, then you can actually have multiple Pokemon in your party with the right power band item, and your efficiency can, like, double or triple. For example, if you need 252 attack on three Pokemon, you can just have all three of them in your party, and then make sure that you have Power Bracer on all of them. And that way you're effectively getting 27 EVs per battle, which is actually very efficient if you think about it. So if you have overlapping EVs, which any competitive team is going to have some overlapping EVs, it should take you roughly an hour to actually get the EVs set up on your entire team. That is, of course, as long as you know where to look. Uh, this area is great for Shinx. You can also find Skidoo here for HP, and you can also find groups of Rookity for speed EVs. I find that South Province Area 2 is actually a lot better for special attack EVs because there are Mareep literally everywhere around there. And what you can also do is go to these mass outbreaks if they have the EVs that you need and it's considerably faster to do it that way, assuming they give you the EVs that you need. Which in this area where you can find the Shinx, you can also find Young Goose and they also give attack EVs, so I believe Arcanine or rather it's pre evo Growlithe are also available here, so you can get your attack EVs that way too. And as possible, there could be more efficient spots to do this that I'm not aware of yet, but these are the ones that I just found that seem to be pretty good. You know, I can just find these things pretty much everywhere, something that'll give me the EVs that I need. And the reason this is so effective in this game is because it's very easy to find stuff that give you the EVs that you need, and wild encounters are very fast. Like, it doesn't take any time at all to just find something and then fight it. And as long as you have a Pokemon that can effectively one-hit KO, it really doesn't take that long at all. I accidentally just evolved my Magikarp this way. <laughs> you also do get a little bit of uh, passive shiny hunting this way, just because you do go through a lot of wild encounters. And there we go, about 12 minutes into grinding, I was able to get max attack on my Gyarados. 
And now to set up the speed EVs, we just swap out the held item. And I can just go to these Weasel, because Weasel gives speed EVs, and in no time at all, I would actually have a fully EV trained Gyarados. So in about a 20 to 30 minutes time, you can save over 500,000 credits by EV training this way. And you can use all of those credits to other things that are more difficult to get so that your money goes a lot further. So anyway, I hope this video helps with building your competitive teams, and thank y'all for watching.